Jimmy, I thought I lost you. But you've been in the C60 this whole time. Time to come out of quarantine, buddy. Damn it. <laughs> uh, hey, great news, Jimmy. I collected up your empty beer bottles and we managed to get the power hooked up to your trailer. Uh, amazing. Oh my God, this thing's got a TV? <laughs> Are you kidding me? In there, you got a retro carpet. A little dinette set. This thing's cool. Anyways. Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we're going to experiment with a little bit of paint. I've been gone for a while. As you know, if you saw my Instagram post yesterday, I got a new job. And you know what it's like starting a new job? especially a physical one it's like going to the gym every single day i was just beat for like a month but now i'm feeling pretty good so let's get back to uh, making some cars here so today i wanted to experiment with some paint again what i was thinking for this little guy so you see all these right here these are all my sealers now createx sent me all of these and they're colored so that we could do like a colored base coat and then do a candy over top and end up with cool effect We'll pick one of these sealers, seal up our car. Maybe we'll do some flames on this bad boy. And then we'll pick one of these candies in here. That's my candy section. And we'll candy over it. And if we get two colors that complement each other, we should end up with a cool effect. When you guys sent me this, I don't remember who. I'm sorry, it's been such a long time. But if you know who you are, shout it out in the comments. And we'll make sure that you get your due. Click, 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 click. Anyways, let's get going here. We got work to do. Little screwdriver in here. I'm not sure about switching these. Yeah, I think we're going to switch these wheels out, but I'm going to save these. These red line ones are a little bit more money. These are a little bit scratched up, but I think I'm going to save those just because they're cool. But I'm hoping this truck looks real special when we're done. So I'm more than likely going to put these uh, put these guys aside and we'll put on something else. Oh, deluxe interior. Check them buckets out. Yeah. Pimp. Not much else going on in here. So it's pretty glossy paint, so I'm going to scuff her up a little bit with a little bit of scotch Bright. Let me put down a little nappy. The glossier the paint, the more you should scuff it before we start doing stripping. So we'll give this a good scuff. I'd like to try lay down maybe a yellow sealer on this. Maybe do like an orange on top and kind of get like a, a sunburst effect maybe. Heavy on the roof and hood and like fade it so that it's lighter down below. Something like that, maybe try to fancy it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying, Vern? Try to give this stripper a good shake. Has just been sitting here for a solid month doing nothing. I haven't even turned on the lights at the old workbench here and the whole time I was away, so everything's a little bit crusty, rusty, musty. We can get some of this gel on here. We're going to give this a few minutes to just kind of do its thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll give that a few minutes and we'll come back to it and see what it looks like. It's been a few minutes. Not a lot has happened. You can see our paint's starting to lift on the hood here a little bit. Part of the reason is this new stripper I'm using evaporates extremely fast so the gel just doesn't stay on here anymore. So this will probably be the last time I do an open air stripping job like this. What I'm going to do going forward is I'm going to clean out my jar of old stripper I got in here. And we'll fill up this bad boy with the new stuff. And I'm just going to submerge the cars. It's going to be quicker. It's going to be easier. It's going to be less smelly. Alrighty. A lot of these strippers perform a lot better when they're in an airless environment. So this should work super quick compared to what we've been seeing in the past. See you later. Time to come out of the pool, Denise. Where are my old tweezies? I have no idea. Geez, you know, I bought some big ass tweezers that would be perfect for just pulling cars out of there. But I don't know where they are, so we're gonna just use my nice Tamiya ones, I guess. Oh, baby. 
All right, so that was a thousand times more effective. This truck is completely stripped up now. Pimp. So that's way easier. It's gonna save a lot of time using the jar. It's not as exciting to film, but unfortunately, that's just what we gotta do for now. So I'm gonna go give this a nice scrub with a wire brush and some hot soapy water and a BRB. That's definitely a huge improvement. You can see every single little speck is gone. And I just used a toothbrush. I didn't even use a wire brush, so. This is definitely what we're gonna be using from now on. Sorry to all the paint bubbling fans. But this just makes more sense. So we're gonna just give that a good, could use like a 1200 grit or something, but I find a red scotch bright definitely enough to smooth everything up. So I'm hoping we can use these sealers to really expand our painting color library. We'll see. All right, that's probably all we need. Just looking pretty good, looking smooth, looking straight. I think that's enough prep. So I'm gonna go give this one more good scrub, hot soapy water, toothbrush, make sure all the dust is off it. I'm gonna meet you in the paint booth and we're gonna lay down some yellow sealer. All right. I'm pretty sure we are due for a spray booth upgrade. This summer, maybe we'll build one. How's that sound? So we're gonna mix up a hot batch of this. And this stuff we got to reduce, um, I think they recommend 25%. 25% would be probably for a full size spray gun. So since we're airbrushing this, we're going to reduce it a little bit more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Worst video ever. All right, so now that your cardboard and your spray booth has a nice coat of sealer, we are about ready to paint. Good news, there's still enough in the cup. I don't think I need to mix up any more. So our car is nice and dry now. I'm a little worried that the vinyl mask might try to pull the sealer off our truck here. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit. My experience with uh, masking on the candy is a lot better than masking on the sealer. So I'm just a little bit scared to mess it up at this point. So I'm just gonna change it up a little bit. Let me grab some silver. Or better yet, let's grab some gold. Yeah, we do gold instead. As you can see, all my gold is at the bottom of this can. That's how long I've been away. It's pretty well the same as Quicksilver. It's just the gold version of the Quicksilver. We call it Quick Gold. It doesn't look like a lot has happened with the gold, but what the gold is going to do is just add highlights. See now our yellow has gone from a regular yellow to kind of a metallic on all the edges and stuff. So now we got a little bit of gold on there, I'm going to mix up our candy and we're going to start laying down a little bit of orange on this bad boy. All right, we're all mixed up here. Bomb some of that in there, and let's see if we can't do a fade on this thing. We'll try it out.
All right, I'm going to stop right there. I put a lot of coats on top. I really want to see the difference between the top and the sides and all the way to the bottom. So we got a nice gradient there that should look pretty sweet when she's all clear coated up. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. We'll come back, do a little bit of flames, I think, and then we'll give her a clear coat and see what she looks like. I'm, I'm very interested to see what happens here. It's cool, right? All right, all right, all right. So our candy is dry. You can see it's got a little bit of gloss to it, a little bit of texture, and that just has to do with how light I have to put it on in such a small car. You're not going to see that once it's clear coated. It's going to be perfectly smooth. We got a nice fade here, as you can see. It's kind of uh, it's got a cool, cool thing going on. It's a little bit iridescent. Hopefully that sticks around once it's clear coated. But a lot of that has to do with the gold and some of that has to do with the yellow. So I got my trusty flame patterns here that you can never see. All right, you can just barely see them. So I'm just going to pick out uh, a nice matching pair. I think we're just going to do the sides. All right, I got three here just in case. Just in case we mess up. I'm going to start with these two on the side. I know you can't really see anything, but you'll see in a minute here. Let me just get these cut out. All right, two flames. Matching pair, they're mirrored. So I just got to figure out what we're going to do. I'll probably go from the wheel well. Not sure how much I'm going to use here. Okay. I'm going to cut out. This would be a much easier task if these uh, little decals had backing paper on them, but they don't. These were sent to me by a friend. So eventually when I get my own printer, we'll figure it all out, get some backing paper, and it'll make this job a lot easier. So I'm going to apply this to the car and I'm going to remove the flame pattern if I can without wrecking it. This stuff is extremely tacky. Just try to find a good spot for it. Please stop sticking. Like that, it'll be close enough. So now I'm just going to pull out the inside, get our flame pattern exposed here. And it's going to be something like that. It would have been nicer if I went just a hair higher to get this little bottom loop in there, but it's too late now. If I peel this off, it's going to ruin it, and I only have a limited amount of these, so that's not worth it to me. So I'm just going to try to match up the other side the same, and then we'll just mask off everything else except for the flames. And then we're going to just uh, dust in a little bit of silver, or maybe gold. Probably gold again. It's kind of been the theme. Not bad, it's not bad. This didn't tear away quite clean here. So, maybe we'll utilize some of this. Why am I shaking? There. Beauty. Curve. Restored. Pimp, so I think that's going to look real sweet. 
think we should stick with gold since we got this kind of sunrise thing happening here. We'll stick with a little gold and we'll just dust it in there really lightly so it's not too overpowering. Maybe we'll end up with something sweet. So I'm going to tape off the rest of this thing and I'm going to meet you in the spray booth. That's probably more than enough. Let's see how that looks. A little bit more than I wanted to do, but it should look real cool. Looks pretty sweet so far. Hopefully the clear coat just sets this thing off. So we will see in a minute. Check this out. Glug 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 pimp that's a nice unit right there boy i just did standard axle tubes and these are um green light wheels and i believe they're from the dodge kit if that makes sense so you could look up green light wheel kits in google and they'll, they'll be like dodge ford chevy i believe these are dodge ones they're big big huge torque thrusts I think our little truck turned out pretty good. I'm not 100% sold on the gold flames. I mean, they're pretty good. They're all right. I wish I did something different, maybe. Maybe just sparkles instead of the gold. But I think our fade looks pretty nice. The top is nice and deep. It's quite nice, actually. Let me get some light on this bad boy. You really appreciate the effects of the candy. when the light is on it for sure it's so nice in person it looks pretty good on camera but you should see it in person you'll have to stop by sometime and check it out so what do you guys think about that bad boy it looks pretty good let's get it up on the rotisserie so just a real quick custom today i think it looks pretty sharp i like it i like it a lot i appreciate you guys being patient with me it's taken me a little while to get used to the new job and getting back into the swing of things here. But uh, yeah, I'd like to be doing some cars during the week as well and stuff on the weekends. So, so I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to try to get a video out tomorrow so you can look forward to that. Have a good day, fam. See you later.